Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome to McGrath Stadium at Bishop Feehan High School for a special presentation of BCA Sports. Today we have a real barn burner. We've got the Shamrocks of Bishop Feehan going against your Brockton Boxers. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action as we get underway here. takes it away. Very cold day here in Attleboro. There's many techs here fighting for the ball for the boxers. Number 25 for Bishop Feehan, Kathleen Lovett. Gets it over to the sideline. able to clear it across midfield where it's picked up by the Shamrocks. The fourth action across midfield. He has many attacks here now. Into the middle over to number eight for the boxes. So that is Nicole Fernandez. And it goes out of bounds. A little bit of a different starting lineup for the Brockton Boxers today. We've got Lauren Seaver in goal, as usual. Yasmini Texera gets the start. Mariah Texera, Nicole Fernandez, Kaylee Mency, Narita Montrand, as always, Morel Marion, Haley Miller, Maya Powers with the start at forward, Jen Caruso, as always, and Ariana Silvia on defense. So the notable absence from that would be Lindsay Gomes, the shutdown defender for the Boxers. She was injured last game, didn't play. We are told she was resting for this game, but it looks like she is still not 100%. Opportunity for the box is picked up by Shelby Hogan, the goalkeeper for the Shamrocks. The starting lineup for the Shamrocks, Shelby Hogan is in goal. Bailey Conti, Casey Sharp, Emily Hogan, Sammy Ross, the captain, El Luongo, another captain, Maddie Jolin, Brittany Schlebeck, Taylor Poirier, Kathleen Lovett, and Ali Poirier, the third captain for the Shamrocks. Throwing for the Shamrocks. Now it goes out of bounds off of Brockton, so Bishop Feehan will have a corner kick to be taken by number 16, Ali Luanga. Here's the first opportunity for the Shamrocks. A shot. Good spin on it. However, it goes right into one of the Brockton defenders, and they clear it up and out of bounds. Porter with the throne for the Shamrocks. Along the sideline. An opportunity for Brockton, but Lauren Seaver picks that one up before anything can come of it. Powers now. Cole Fernandez on the sideline. Back and forth battle. It goes out of bounds off of the Shamrock, so we'll have a Brockton throw. Jen Caruso. Shot is put on, but it goes wide and out of bounds. We'll have a goal kick. Shelby Hogan. Oh, 
Sylvia chasing that one down for the boxers. Den Caruso now taking it across midfield. And is out of bounds ruled off of Brockton. So the Shamrocks will have a throw. Charging out of her net very aggressively makes the diving stop. Colton does lose his possession. It goes to number 24 for the Shamrocks, Taylor Ford. Brock gets it back. Sylvia over to number nine. The box is Kaylee Mason. Back and forth headers right at midfield. And that one will go out of bounds off of Bishop Feehan. If number 22 can turn the corner, that is Brittley Schlebeck. The shot, and just high and over the forward waiting in front for the Shamrocks. We have a whistle. I believe we have an offsides call against the Shamrocks of Bishop Feehan High School. Straight kick along the sideline. That will go out of bounds off of one of the Shamrocks. Free kick forthcoming for the Shamrocks. Too many Texas area chases that down for the boxers and kicks it out of bounds. So number 24 for the Shamrocks, Taylor Poirier will throw it in. Very high kick. puts some pressure on and The defender for the Shamrocks kicks it out of bounds in front of her own bench. Unable to chase that down in the corner for the Shamrocks, so we'll have a goal kick coming from the foot of Lauren Seep. About 10 minutes into the first half, unofficially. Bring you all the action from McGrath Stadium at Bishop Feehan High School in Attleboro, Massachusetts. Mad Dog Matt Nelson 
for BCA Sports. Roll out of bounds, will that be another goal kick? Off called against number 22 Schlebeck for the Shamrocks. Brockton will have a free kick to be taken by Ariana Silva. Seven for the boxers, Mariah Texano. The whistle on the substitution, Maria Del Pico will enter the game for the boxers. She replaces Maya Powers, who almost ran to the wrong bench, she used to going to the far bench at Marciano Stadium. Montron with excellent footwork gets it over to Jen Caruso. Caruso back to Montron. Broken up by the defense. The shot is put on goal and just by a over the bar. So Bishop Fian comes away unscathed from a little bit of offensive pressure from the boxes. Opportunity for the Bishop Fian Shamrocks. Sieber makes a great save. Opportunity for Schlebeck now in the corner. She breaks free of the defender. The shot. It's loose out in front. Another shot and another good diving save by Lauren Seaver. Bishop Fian Shamrocks starting to pick up their offensive pressure, putting a couple of shots on the Brockton goalkeeper, Lauren Seaver. However, the score remains tied at zero apiece. Shamrocks, Lawrence even makes the easy save. There's an opportunity for the Shamrocks. Spin. The shot and it goes just wide to the left.
trying to chase it down for the boxes. Brockton's defense kind of crumbling at the moment. About 15 minutes in unofficially of this first half, the official time is kept on the field by the referees. In the MIAA South section of the Watson, he has a breakaway for the Bishop Van Shamrocks. The shot, a kick saved by Lauren Seaver. As Lucia's mini text error falls on it. And we have a whistle. We have a handball called. On Yasmini Texera for the boxes. And we will have a penalty kick for the Bishop Fian Shamrocks. Lauren Seabrick ready in the net for the penalty shot. The shot and a goal by Bishop Fian. I believe that was number 11, Emily Hogan, the sophomore forward. And Bishop Fian takes the lead a little under halfway into this first half. Tasmini Texera with the costly mistake of falling on the ball and putting her hand on it. And Coach Andrea Tassinari having some words with the referee. Now we have a yellow card to the Brockton boxer, Coach Andrea Tassinari. And she's still shouting at the referee. <laughs> Jen Caruso with it now, trying to spark some offense to the boxers. Foot race into the corner of the shot, and a good save by Shelby Hogan of the Bishop Fian Germans. Brockton Boxer substitution. Michaela Norman enters the game. She will replace number seven, Mariah Texera. set up here at Bishop Fian High School. We've got the yellow soccer field markings on top of the white football markings here at the shot and an excellent diving save by Hogan and she sweeps it up. Brock and Boxers with their best opportunity of the day. Shelby Hogan, the goalkeeper for the Bishop Fian Shamrocks, able to keep that one out of the net. for Brockton. And let's see if it jumps up. The ball is still loose. And we have a whistle. And a couple of bodies out in front. And 
And Lauren Sieber will have a goal kick. Rita Montrand with it now. Midfield. We have a whistle. Jen Caruso will have a free kick now. Caruso is run into and we will have a whistle. So Narita Montrand will take the kick for the boxers. Brockton is wearing their away black uniforms today, something we've not seen yet this season. As Bishop Fian was wearing the white uniforms with the green lettering. Ariana Sylvia with it now for the boxes. Rita Montron gives it away to the Shamrocks. Cross midfield. Sylvia chases it down, kicks it straight to number 11 for the Shamrocks. Emily Hogan shot in a good diving save slash pickup for Lauren Seaver. So just across the halfway mark in this first half of MIAA South Sectional quarterfinal action from McGrath Stadium at Bishop Vian High School. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action. The Bishop Fian Shamrocks are leading the Brockton Boxers by a score of 1 to nothing. It's a foot race between number 21 for the Shamrocks, Maddie Jolin, and Ariana Sylvia. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what was that call. Shit, the ball is me. <laughs> oh my god, seriously, what the hell is going on today? That was bad as the boys' game last night. Is kicked out of bounds by one of the Brockton boxers. Bishop Fian will have a throw in deep in boxer territory. Number 26, Ellie Poirier, the senior captain, will take the throw in for the Shamrocks. It's loose out in front. Michaela Norman will take it and kick it out of bounds. Sense to you. <laughs> 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 and then Austin got hurt. Hurt his ankle. Couldn't play the second. Well, with a very good kick. <laughs> Jen Caruso yeah. goes down. Yeah, I saw that. Football, football, yep. And an offside's whistled on Bishop Fian. Cool. Interesting. Maybe not. Before you made that quote, the change from defense to offense, don't you have to hit the step? Yeah. You stay and be lazy. That's what it is. You're being lazy. You stay on top, you're all called offside. Sylvia ready to kick it off. Lauren Sieber will pick that one up before number 16, Ellie Luongo, can get to it for the Shamrocks. Lauren Sieber's cleat is untied, so Ariana Sylvia will take a moment and tie the shoe of her goalkeeper. Must be very hard to do with the goalie gloves on. Oh, 
nice ball. Come on. Sylvia chases that one down for the boxes. And it goes out of bounds before Michaela Norman can get to it. I see. Pico now fighting for the ball on the sideline. Sylvia with the box for the boxes gets it to midfield where Michaela Norman has it. Give away to the Shamrocks right back to the feet of Sylvia. Now Narita Montrant has it. Back and forth action from McGrath Stadium. The difference being a penalty go. shot called on a handball by Yasmini Texera. And that is the difference as Bishop Fian still leads the Brockton Boxers by a score of one to nothing. So we'll out of bounds off of Bishop Fian and we'll have couple of substitutions by each team. Montrand with it now, she turns the corner. Gets it up to Jen Caruso. Caruso with some real speed. Good defense by the Bishop Fee and Shan Rocks. It's broken up, and the boxers will get a throwing out of that. Why not spin away? Or why not just kick it into the person to get your own throw? Exactly. You're kicking it to no one? To no one. Uh, talk, talk, ladies. And Lauren Siever will scoop that one up. <laughs> so back and forth action from McGrath Stadium at Bishop Fian High School. Come on, send us a send it, send it. See? And Siever will pick that one up again. I'm going to take this opportunity to thank our cameraman for today's festivities, the two-time award-winning director and producer, Nubi Rateau, on top of the press box here at McGrath Stadium. Shamrocks control, and it's an opportunity for the Shamrocks. The cross, come on, Aaron. A shot off the post yes. and in. Bishop Aaron. Fian with another goal. That's a goal. No, no, Aaron. Aaron tapped it. 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 Aaron t
and came back out, and then the girl hit it back in. So Bishop Fian taking a two nothing lead over the Brockton Boxers. About three quarters away through this first half, and Del Pico will come out for the Brockton Boxers. Yeah, uh, Aaron, number six. Aaron uh, Lynch. Lynch. That was Aaron Lynch, the junior midfielder, scoring that goal for the Shamrocks, putting them up by two to nothing, and the Brockton Boxers trying to get something going offensively. The shot by Jen Crusoe goes wide. And we have a timeout called by the Brockton Boxers, Coach Andrew Tassinari. So Jen Crusoe doing all she can to spark the Brockton Boxers offense. Uh, no timeout. No, they, they're waving off the timeout. Go put it back on there. And the refs decide to wave no. the timeout. She did. Or the she did. Coach Tassinari decided she didn't want to take a timeout after that. Confusing sequence of events here from Bishop Fian High School. Yeah, that was a little, that was a little interesting. I why she called the timeout, then she decided to wave off the timeout. They get one timeout per half. Yeah. yeah. Crusoe with it now gets it over to Montrond. Montrond with excellent foot skills. Ariana Almeida chases that one down for the boxers and puts it out of bounds. Back and forth action just inside the boxers zone. The Shamrocks will have a throw in. The cross attempt is broken up by Mariah Texera for the boxers. And an offsides whistled on the Bishop Fee and Shamrocks. Amita with the free kick for the boxers. Did you call a timeout? Oh, us. Who had possession to We kicked it out of bounds. So, yeah. so Coach Tassinari now calls her timeout of the first half. And it doesn't look like she'll be waving off this one. <laughs> so both teams go to the sidelines to have a little chat with their coaches. That was pretty good. I like that. <laughs> now, do you do this for the, just the school? Are you a student there? Or are you just a like a job? Yeah. That's neat. So that obviously Brockton pays for you guys to come home in a way? Yeah, usually just home. Um, because of uh, quarterfinals? Yeah. yeah. Just because the playoffs were coming every game. That's cool. 
Yeah, you gotta ask her now because it's a book puzzle too. I mean, it, I don't know why she didn't. How do you, how do you wave off a time out? So, Bishop Fian still leads the Brockton Boxers by a score of 2-0. to zero. Mad Dog oh, Matt Nelson oh. bringing you all the action from McGrath Stadium He's at so Bishop right. Fian High School. It was probably, uh, uh, we probably had possession. That's why she couldn't call. That's right. Good call, Dave. He waved as I came in. Yes, yes. So that's why the ref said you can't call a timeout right now. Yeah. That's so we just figured out what happened with that waved <laughs> off timeout. Bishop Fian had possession, so Coach Tassinari for the boxers is unable to call a timeout as you have to have possession. Uh, only if she did one, that's one. Jen Crusoe with it for the boxes. It goes out of bounds off of one of the Shamrocks. Brockton takes it away at midfield. Coming down to six minutes left in unofficial time. Jen Crusoe with it now. Over to Narita Montrand. Montrand with excellent footwork. Puts it up looking for Mariah Texera. That's us. What? Yeah, it off her. And Narita yeah, Montrand yeah. will take a yeah. throw in. Go, cool. who said you <laughs> we never disagree with the king. <laughs> Mariah takes air with the throw in for the boxers. She gets it over to number 17, Mackenzie O'Reilly. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I totally agree. An opportunity for the Shamrocks as number 21. That would be Maddie Jolin. Has it in the corner. That's a. Okay, now we can go. Let me to boots that one up across midfield. So we got three Weird back. spin on the ball puts Five it out of bounds. And we'll have a Fian substitution. Number three, Bailey Conti enters the game. The freshman midfielder and forward. She will replace number 15, Andrea Guinan. Yeah, yeah. But what is Bailey? I have no idea, so Bailey must be. Give her, give it, give it, give it, give it. Oh. A couple of bodies hit the ground as Narita Montron charges across midfield with it now. Looking for Jen Crusoe. Crusoe with the spin. She's pushed. She somehow keeps her balance. Crusoe playing with a fractured wrist. She's Nick, still Nick, got Nick, possession. Nick. She's got to get rid of it. And we have a whistle and an elbow called on one of the Brockton boxes. So Fian will have a free kick. Cross. The shot is up off the football crossbar, and that is out of bounds. Yeah. 
So I'll have a goal kick. It looks like Ariana Almeida will take this one for the boxers. We have an out of bounds called off of Fian. I believe, or an offsides rather. <coughs> Full of a free kick taken by Ariana Almeida. Low line drive kick. What happened? Can we get her? We have a stoppage. Mackenzie O'Reilly is down for the boxers, and she's holding, looks like her right hip. Walking off under her own power very gingerly. She will be attended to by the athletic trainer Jerry Connors. Maria Del Pico comes into the game to replace her. As there are two minutes remaining in unofficial time, the clock on the scoreboard stops and the official time will be kept by the referees on the field. Very slow game today. So Bishop Fian still leads the Brockton Boxers by a score of two to nothing. As we approach halftime, and Yasmini Texera will come into the game and replace yeah, Ariana one. Almeida. Yeah, she's already Girl subbed in off the bench. Yeah. She's, I think she. Bloody nose, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Ariana Almeida is holding her. Face looks like her nose. She might have a just a bloody nose. So a couple of injuries for the Brockton boxers, as Sylvia puts that one up, and the refs whistle that one down, and that will end the first half. So the Bishop Fee and Shamrocks lead. The Brockton Bucks is going into halftime by a score of two to nothing. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bring you all the action. We'll see you for the second half. From McGrath Stadium at Bishop Fian High School. The score to start the second half, the Bishop Fian Shamrocks lead the Brockton Boxers by a score of two to nothing. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bring you all the action from a cold deer. Cold day here in Attleboro, Massachusetts. He was wrapped up there in a cocoon so they couldn't see him. <laughs> So Bishop Fan kicks that one out. Brockton Boxers will have a throw in deep in Shamrock territory as the sun starts to come out on this fine day in Attleboro. Starting to warm up a little bit. Gonna give a shout out to our cameraman, the two-time award-winning director and producer, Nubi Rateau, who is stationed on top of the press box here at McGrath Stadium. Very cold. Nubi is not a cold weather guy. Here to Montron now. Good foot skills on the sideline. 
Rel Marion puts it on net, and it's picked up by Shelby Hogan, the sophomore goalkeeper for Bishop Fian. And an offsides whistled on Bishop Fian. So Ariana Almeida will take a free kick from the 20 yard line of the football markings. Jen Crusoe trying to chase that one down. Is this Cat's Yeah. I'm going to try and chase that one down as Coach Tassinari is yelling out instructions from the sidelines. Coach Taz did get a yellow card in the first half for yelling and protesting a call by one of the referees. Oh, and a collision right inside the box. This Caruso took a spill for the boxes, running into Shelby Hogan, the goalkeeper for the Shamrocks. Number 21, Maddie Jolin, now for the Shamrocks. Gives it away to Haley Miller. And we have an offsides whistle off the Shamrocks. Ariana Silva now playing midfielder for the Brockton Boxers. She was playing defense during the first half, so that's a pretty big switch by Coach Taz, trying to spark some offense by her Boxers squad. Shot put on net is picked up by Lauren Seaver. Fian looking for the cross. Broken up by the boxer's defense. An opportunity to cross. It's deflected. We have a whistle. And a corner kick somehow comes out of that. Not really sure how that happened. Oh, okay. Yeah, the goal tried to tab that game. Uh, another entry into the confusing series of events so far from McGrath Stadium in Attleboro, Massachusetts. As Seaver picks that one up. And we have a handball whistled off of number 26, Allie Poirier, the senior captain. Seven. She's seven. Number two? Uh, no, number two, number two. Who's number two? Uh, Where's the number two? Oh, how does the eye clue? Wait, what do you mean? I can't see. Oh, three. Oh, oh Bailey. 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 Oh, mm -hmm. oh, Bailey. Mission P in controlling at midfield. Back and forth action. Go 
Now we'll go out of bounds. Off of... They ruled a bishop fee in Shamrock, so Ariana Almeida will take the throw in for the boxers. What the heck? Jen Caruso with it now. She spins. Looking for the cross. Oof. Well done. Why did you do it like that? Could she couldn't. That's a no whistle, so reflected off us. Brockton will have a, a corner kick out of all that. So Narita Montron getting ready to take the yeah, corner kick for the boxes. Yeah, it shouldn't count. She should I mean that's a rough choice there, but you never know with these refs. Montron with the kick. And it goes all the way across the field and out of bounds. They rule off of Bishop Fian. Oh, no kidding. They gave it the... And we'll have a Brockton substitution as number eight enters the game. That would be Nicole Fernandez. She will replace Maya Powers, number 18. Montron now. The I shot think. goes yeah. wide. All right, we go, guys. After a pretty crazy sequence of events, things have calmed down a little bit in the second half. Shelby Hogan takes the goal kick. Montron up to Morel Marion. Nice Touch. One done, one more. Good. There you go, well done. Number five with room to run. That is Casey Sharp. Nice. Well done. And the Shamrocks will have a throw in. An offsides yeah. whistled oh, off yeah. of Bishop Fian. Yeah, look up. It was pretty close. It was close. Yeah, that girl on mid was she was in direct she wasn't directly into the play, so how could she have run off? No, I thought that they had to touch the ball first. Right, I mean she was the ball was given to her. She that goes out of bounds. Off of the Brockton boxes. Yeah. She caught my. It was off Bailey's shoulder. Well, we get a freebie. Go, Manny. That is out of bounds off of the Brockton boxes. Jen Caruso trying to get clean possession of it. And it goes out of bounds off of Bishop Fian. Or a push, rather, called. He called it against us. Oh, my God. So the, the ref's making a couple of confusing calls as Morel Marion runs up the sideline. Oh, Montron out in front. No! Good yeah. save by Shelby Hogan, and Aria Sylvia puts it right back on net, and it goes through the football uprights. So, Brock and Boxers with their best opportunity of the game. However, they come away without anything in the score column. Understand why we don't play to the last play here. Let's make any sense. Stretch that field. Yeah, that's the thing. 
Christian Fian with an opportunity here. It's broken up by Ariana, Ariana Almeida, and there's a collision. Have a throw in. And we'll have a corner kick for the Shamrocks of Bishop Vian High School. Come on. Oh. Oh. Yes! And it's tapped in by one of the Shamrocks. Not sure who did tap that one in, but the Bishop Feehan Shamrocks take a 3 0 lead. A little more than 10 minutes into this second half. So Brockton is going to have to turn the desperation switch on and try to score some goals quick. So Bishop Fian scoring off of the corner kick. The Brockton Boxers entering danger zone now, down by three goals in the second half of MIAA South Sectional Tournament action from Bishop Fian High School in Attleboro, Mass. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action. He's put back in play. Jen Caruso with it. Over to Nicole Fernandez. Fernandez is tripped up. Go, Maddie. Go, Maddie. Brockton takes over. Now Narita Montron with it. Gets it over to Ariana Silvia. Passes it over to Yasmina Texera. Jen Caruso with the touch pass. Unable to connect. So it goes all the way back to Brockton's defensive lines. Almeida will take that one for the boxers. Morale Marion now. Valley, open. It goes out of bounds off of one of the Shamrocks. And Ariana Almeida will take the throw in for the boxers. Brockton clears it across midfield. Picked up by the Shamrocks. Rita Montron now at midfield. Ariana Silva is streaking up the field. Looking for Morel Marion. However, the Shamrocks will beat her to the ball. Bishop Fian with good defense at midfield. As Jen Crusoe tries to chase that one down and put a shot on. She loses possession. Sylvia with it now for the boxers. And we have a whistle called on Ariana Sylvia. So the Shamrocks will have a free kick. 24 minutes remaining in unofficial time from McGrath Stadium at Bishop Fian High School.
Sylvia with it just across midfield. Mito pushes that one deep. Picked up by Morel Marion. Cross right out in front. Marion with an opportunity. The shot. And an excellent diving save by Shelby Hogan for the Bishop Fee and Shamrocks, keeping a zero in the score column for the Brockton Boxes. So that doesn't pinch the cord. Yeah. See the cord? That's big towels. Almeida for the boxes up the sideline. She's running too. And we have some substitutions. Michaela Norman re entering the game for the Brockton Boxers. And she replaces Morel Marion. So Donnie Brooke on the sideline looking for the ball. Narita Montron is tripped up. And it goes out of bounds off of Brockton. Good throw off of the head of Michaela Norman. Sylvia with it. Sylvia back to number 15 for the boxers. That is Amanda Almeida. Bishop Fian controlling inside the boxer zone. 3 nothing. Just about halfway through this second half from McGrath Stadium. Mad Dog Van Nelson bringing you all the action in MIAA South Sectional Tournament game quarterfinal between the Bishop Fian Shamrocks. Oh, and Rita Montrond right out in front of the net. An opportunity for the boxers. Ariana Almeida takes the shot. And it goes high through the football uprights. We'll have a substitution for the boxers. Number six, Stephanie Sokol will come into the game replacing Mariah Texera. So the Bishop Fian Shamrocks lead the Brockton Boxers by a score of 3 to nothing. Halfway through the second half. The Boxers trying to turn up the offensive pressure, trying to score a quick couple of goals. Arnell Mita chasing that one down for Brockton before it goes out of bounds. Montron with it now. Gets it up to Jen Caruso. Caruso with the spin looking for the shot. It's taken away by the defense of the Bishop Fee and Shamrocks. Montrand with it. It's kicked out of bounds off of Finn. Then Crusoe for the boxes. 
goes out of bounds off of Caruso, so Bishop Fian will have a throw in. Number 20 for the boxers. Uh, the Shamrocks are. And another goal by the Bishop Fian Shamrocks. Close, almost shuts the door on Brockton Boxer season as they've now got to score four goals in less than a half of a half. And I believe that was Anissa Amidio. No, no, Carly Schlebeck. That was uh, Carly Schlebeck. No, Carly Knobloch. God. Sorry. It was Carly Knobloch, rather. Number 19, the junior for Bishop Fian, putting the Shamrocks up by a score of 4-0 over the Brockton Boxers. Michaela Norman now, and it's kicked out of bounds, and that should be a corner kick for the Brockton Boxers. It is Jen Caruso will take it for the Boxers. As we tick down to 18 minutes left in the second half. Balls in play. Crusoe trying to chase that one down and it's kicked out of bounds. Good luck, guys. Thanks. And we'll have a goal kick. Coming from the foot of Shelby Hogan, who's made a number of excellent saves off of the Brockton boxers. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from McGrath Stadium at Bishop Fian High School in Attleboro, Massachusetts on a what's turned into a nice day. It started off very cold, rainy, and cloudy. It, now the sun has come out. It's warmed up a little bit. And now the Shamrocks with an opportunity. That is number 20, Anissa Medio. And an offside whistled on Bishop Fian. So Brockton Bucks will have a free kick. Taking down to 15 minutes left in unofficial time. Nice. 
couple of substitutions. Maria Del Pico re-enters the game for the Brockton Boxers, replacing... Looks like number eight, Nicole Fernandez for the Boxers. We have a whistle and a free kick coming for the boxer. Sylvia puts it back into play fairly quickly. Here's where the inexperience comes in, you know? Not even the ability, it's just the inexperience, you know? It's like a rookie's trying to play. Substitution for Bishop Fia number 18, Katie McCarthy comes in. <laughs> She replaces number 19, Carly Knobloch. So the Shamrocks of Bishop Fian High School lead the Brockton Boxers 4 to nothing. With about 13 minutes left in the second half. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from McGrath Stadium. At Bishop Fian High School. It's Maria Del Pico has it at midfield. I still can't figure out this formation. I thought they got three in the back. So Cobb's right there, five in the middle. Mm -hmm. yeah, so when you said that name, how many have to be the strike? Yeah. And that goes out of bounds off of one of the Shamrocks. Jen Crusoe with it now. And Lauren Seaver will pick that one up for the Brockton Boxers. Montrand with it now. Tries to get it up to Michaela Norman. Overshoots it a little bit and it's taken over by the Shamrocks. Approach the 10 minute mark left in the second half. The Bishop Fee and Shamrocks lead the Brockton Boxers by a score of 4 to nothing. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Attleboro, Massachusetts. Here we go. Here we go. Opportunity. Well done. And another goal by the Bishop Fee and Shamrocks. And they're pouring it on now. Who's on? Alex. Alex? No, Alex Stockman. Now is number eight on the goal, Alex Stockman, the sophomore midfielder. 
as the Shamrocks now lead by a score of five to nothing. A little more than ten minutes left. As Mini Texera checks back into the game for the Brockton Boxers. She replaces number 15, Amanda Almeida. Shot and an easy save by Shelby Hogan, the sophomore goalkeeper for the Bishop Fee and Shamrocks. Rita Montron with it now. Trying to turn the corner. She does, she puts a shot on as she falls to the ground and another save by Shelby Hogan. Fighting for the ball. Where's the rest of the Yellow card. One more, she would If you get another card, it would be red. She'd have to leave the game. And if they would have won, then she's suspended. Maria Del Pico now, and a charging, diving save by Shelby Hogan as the boxers try to swarm that goal, that ball rather, and put it in the back of the net. However, Shelby Hogan makes another good save. Now one goes out of bounds off of Bishop Fee and Brockton will have a throw in. About seven minutes left in the second half. The Bishop Fee and Shamrocks pouring it on as of late. Lead by a score of five to nothing over the Brockton Boxers. Mad Dog Van Nelson bringing you all the action from McGrath Stadium in Attleboro, Massachusetts at Bishop Fee and High School. Rita Montron with it now for the boxers. She gets it up to Morel Marion. We have a Bishop Fian substitution, number 13, Gabby. Delos enters the game.
So Bishop leading, Bishop Fian leading by a score of five to nothing. So we approach the five minute mark in unofficial time. The official time is kept on the field by the referees. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from McGrath Stadium. A whistle and a free kick coming from the boxes. Sylvia takes it. Gets it up to Morel Marion. Here we go, Montron with it now. The cross goes out of bounds off of one of the Shamrocks, and Montron will have a corner kick. A throw in, rather. Yeah, I couldn't tell where it landed. Marion's got it for the boxes. Puts it right out in front, and it's kicked out of bounds by one of the Shamrocks, and now we'll have a corner kick. She probably just that was more instinct. Than she was Ten Crusoe back to Montron. Montron back to Crusoe. The shot out in front and it goes short and wide. Now it's out of bounds and we'll have a boxer throwing. The shot and an easy save by Shelby Hogan of the Shamrocks. We have a whistle and a plethora of substitutions for the... We're going to have a timeout called by Bishop Fian. And a plethora of substitutions entering the game for Bishop Fian. A handful, in fact. A whole five substitutions as we... Take down just under three minutes in unofficial time. Two minutes and 56 seconds. Fian leads the Brockton Boxers by a score of five to nothing. A couple of rolling sounds from on top of the press box here at McGrath Stadium. Wondering if our cameraman, Nubi Rateau, the two-time award-winning Nubi Rateau, award-winning director and producer, Nubi Rateau, is okay up there. He might be taking a nap. He might be rolling over. Talented. <laughs> So we restart play here at McGrath Stadium. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bring you all the action. As the Shamrocks of Bishop Fian High lead the Brockton Boxers by a score of five to nothing. Two and a half minutes left in unofficial time. Is Mini Texera now with it in front of the Brockton bench? Now Ariana Sylvia. As we hit two minutes in unofficial time, the clock on the scoreboard stops. The official time will be kept on the field of play by the referees. And more substitutions for the Bishop Fian. Shamrocks. Mm. 
And that goes out of bounds off of Brockton. <laughs> oh, that's a great ball. An opportunity for Bishop Fan. Oh. And a whistle and an offsides. And that will end the game. So Brockton boxes a little bit shell shocked. Bishop Fian comes away with the win by a score of five to nothing over the Brockton boxers, and they will advance in MIAA South Sectional Tournament action. Mad Dog Mad Nelson bring you all the action from McGrath Stadium at Bishop Fian High School in Attleboro, Massachusetts. We'll see you next season.